Hi, beautiful souls. This is Ashley here and welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am guided to talk about why surrender is required in Kundalini awakening. So stay tuned to this video if you are in your journey of Kundalini navigation and if you are facing uh, difficult symptoms that may result in uh, fear, panic, confusion or a host of uh, uh, emotional symptoms, physical symptoms that may be blocking your progress in your Kundalini awakening journey. Also, from next week, I am starting the support groups if you're willing to join. There are very limited spots left. Almost the Monday one is full. If you're willing, you can join the Wednesday one. And I look forward to seeing you because it's a good opportunity for you to come and work closely with people who are undergoing their intense process and learn some tools and techniques that may help you from uh, others learning from others experiences as well as in navigation of your own process so that you can expand your connection and relationship with your kundalini energy so let's get started with today's video of uh, why surrender is an essential requirement in your Kundalini awakening process and why is it not happening in the first place? So Kundalini is a transformative process. It is a process that is very mysterious, that has divine origination, I would say. And she's trying to bring us back into our divinity through helping us to remove the blockages that are uh, we may have acquired through our conditioned responses to creating meaningfulness around our existence in this reality, in this plane of consciousness. So the purpose of Kundalini energy is washing, cleansing, clearing out. She's trying to clear out our channels. She's trying to cleanse anything that is not in alignment with her. So whatever we have picked up on the way after taking birth from our cultural, societal uh, belief patterns, which are not in alignment with the universal field of consciousness, which are not in alignment with the uh, highest vibrational frequencies of uh, love, unconditional love, light, I would say that is being eliminated from or asked to be eliminated from our systems. And because of its divine origination, its mysterious nature that is beyond our human comprehension, our nervous system has taken the flight mode or fight mode or freeze mode and anything that was accumulated in these planes of consciousness when we experience this fight, flight, and freeze modes of consciousness ever in our conditioned responses to life. They are thrown out onto the surface for us to feel and heal in the first place. So when we are in the fight, flight, or freeze mode, surrender becomes very difficult, my friends, because our nervous system, our bodies, they are created in the ways that they want to protect us. And so uh, when this cleansing is happening, our nervous system is thrown again and again, again and again, again and again into these modes of uh, survival modes, I would say. And rising above or she wants to plug you out of these survival modes into more thriving modes. So that is why first she's trying to bring you into this survival mode process. And it becomes very essential that you learn tools and techniques which help you to regulate yourself and your conditioned responses and understand those conditioned responses from the witness point of view. When I say witness point of view, it means from departing from your ego consciousness. So your ego consciousness is 
something that is stopping the flow of kundalini to rise in your system. And that is happening when we are stuck in the fight, flight and freeze modes of consciousness, which is happening due to our conditioned responses to life that is happening within and around us. So first of all, elimination that is happening from our energetic planes is happening on this level of cultural conditioning that is not in alignment with the universal consciousness of divine origination that is being asked to be cleansed and it requires inner work. It requires certain tools, certain practices, certain understandings, certain education, guidance to walk in the right path. So do seek support if you feel very lost and confused during your process because Otherwise, it will take longer to come out. So seek guidance, join uh, groups or company of the people or talk to people who are undergoing such experiences for your process to take the right twists and turns which are within, within the right navigation compass of your process. Because a lot of people, they are... Uh, feeling stuck when they don't have the right tools to start taking action to align with this energetic process. So guidance becomes very important. My friends, if you think that you have that guidance, and now I'm coming to the next point that we seek this guidance from within. Only when we are feeling safe in our process of this turmoil and chaos. Even though there is chaos, and if you have a certain aspect of you, a part of you that feels a sense of connection with this energetic dimension somewhere within your consciousness and you feel the guidance coming from there, that's a very good news. You can keep working with your energetic system. That is your spiritual intuition trying to talk to you through this energetic dimension what steps to take. I was guided all through from within and that that helped me to strengthen my connection with this energy and that's what I teach others to do. How to strengthen your connection with the voice within you, with the force within you, with the energy that has decided to rise within you and learning how to communicate with her learning how to sense the signals, nuances, textures of that communication becomes very important in this process. So join the support groups if you would like to understand and learn how to start feeling safe by making connection with this energetic voice that is ever present to communicate with you, to help you to make the right choices and feel a sense of safety within you during your process. I would again emphasize the word safety that when a nervous system is thrown into fight, flight and freeze, it becomes very important that we come home to a space, a safe space, while other conditioned aspects of our beingness are being witnessed by us in that space. So we have we have a vast ocean of radiating different zones of consciousness within us. And it is all about learning to learning to see these parallel realities that are always present within our planes of consciousness and start interacting with those parallel consciousness fields in order to heal ourselves and feel the empowerment that this energy would like to gift you with. So do join the support groups if you would like to learn this process that would help you to expand and stretch your awareness and come home to uh, your intuitive voice, to your 
sense of collaboration and connection with this energy so that you can uh, attain uh, peace, joy, laughter, smiles, and opportunities to be constructed with this energy as you move on this path. So one of the major blockages is our conditioned responses and how our ego is holding on to the energetic planes of belief patterns that we acquire during our social conditioning, our cultural conditioning, our conditioning from our childhood, our, our unique patterns of conditioning and what are the belief patterns that are embodied inside that conditioning play a major role. However, ego is being trapped inside that energetic plane in the energy of those belief patterns. And it's a big, big challenge, isn't it? It is like, Kundalini is like a near-death experience because it is like we exist here in this bubble of conditioned responses. And what she's asking is, Bit by bit, she's bursting, 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 bursting. And then suddenly, sometimes, when this space, when everything is burst, 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 there's, there's a hole, right? There's a hole. And it is this hole that's scary, this emptiness. It's just trying to bring you into that emptiness. It reminds me of the Buddhist concept of emptiness. So dark night of the soul, that is one of the stages of Kundalini awakening, is witnessing, sensing, feeling that empty hole, vacuum. It's like you are in a vacuum and your brain is really in inside that vacuum. You're witnessing that vacuum. It is that state of witnessing the vacuum and sensing your helplessness sensing your disempowerment, sensing how your ego that arises from a conditioned response to the cultural conditioning is so powerless. It is so helpless. It is so weak. It doesn't exist. It can only lay there witnessing this play of the energy that is much higher than us, that is making us witness all this. It's a blessing in disguise, my friends. Now I see it as a blessing in disguise because that gives you an embodied experience of seeing through that vacuum. And once you come out of that vacuum, you will have a different perception. You wear different glasses. So... I just want to stop here now. <laughs> okay, so that's about today's messages about our Kundalini awakening process, cleansing, transformation, witnessing of our own powerlessness that comes from the conditioning. And it's a blessing in disguise, my friends, because you will never ever be able to experience this without the blessings of Kundalini. Because if Kundalini is not there, we are always, we would leave this body from the energy of those conditioned responses, not knowing about or sensing this vast field of consciousness, which is so beautiful. So no pain, no gain. So she's putting you through pain so that you can get some gains. Stay put, trust the process, love yourself, establish a loving connection with this energy. Do not hate this energy. Do not curse this energy. She wants the best for you. She's there to provide you vitality, good health, laughter, joy, fun in your life. And this will happen. There are stages and phases of it. So don't hate me for saying that. Or don't repulse from me for saying that. Don't resist me for laughing out loud. Because 
this will happen for you. These are the phases and stages that each one of us go through. Love yourself, love your process. Love each moment and trust that all is well. And I love you all. Sending you love, light, blessings wherever you are. And the link is in the description box. If you would like to join, come on board with me and establish a loving connection with your energetic vibe that is there present in you, wanting to help you to cleanse yourself. Feel it and heal it. Stay blessed. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Bye.